our fire department saw a need to put Jacob's kits or stop the bleed kits in all the classrooms at the police. Our board approved this and we purchased them. They were delivered about two weeks ago and you can see them hanging on the wall at each classroom today. We're also expanding this to our area churches and we'll be placing a couple or more kits at each church and we'll provide training to the church members on their use. Things have happened in the schools, the shootings are all over the country and we just felt there was a need for us to help out. Our community supported us for 54 years and it's now that we've given back to it. This means the world to our school. This is going to help us increase our safety measures in case we have an emergency, which I hope we never do, but if we do, they've donated 40 of these Jacob safety kits, and so that means that every teacher in our school will have a kit like this outside of their door, and we even have extras to put in places like library, uh, media center, theater, places like that, so that we've got full coverage throughout the building if we should ever need them. They are small, and it may not look like there's a lot of supplies in here, but this little kit is packed full of emergency supplies that we would need. We've had extensive training through the Anderson County Sheriff's Department. Sergeant Todd Karen came out. We've had um, full day training for all staff members, and then I attend um, trainings every year through district training. Mm -hmm.